Hello my darling! Welcome to my channel! I'm your favorite daughter Zithia today again with a new pick up I'm reading my darling already know today we are going to know the love story written in the star for you what kind of love story is there for you what kind of love you will receive from your person how will they treat you how will your future spouse love you and how will you feel about that love connection and remember my darling this is knowing about your future so definitely some messages universe will not tell you or this is just for some surprise so bear with me stay with me let's go find out whatever you right now meant to know about your future love story okay let's go find out so first of all before i start your reading let me tell you one thing today i will start off your energy so if you resonate with your energy then you will find out that this is your pile okay if i describe you perfectly then you will know that you are in the right pile okay so my darling i got three beautiful tarot deck my group one and group two group three my group number one you got the guardian angel message tarot cards my group number two you got the good tarot cards my group number three you got the mystic moments tarot cards okay so i'm going to give you the beautiful closure look where you can pause the video and choose the proper group for yourself whichever you are drawn to i hope my darling you choose the perfect group for yourself i'll give the timestamps in the description box go there click on the timestamps and the video will give you the exact timing when your pile is going to be started definitely my baby if you're not into my soul time go ahead subscribe to my channel hit that bell icon for a new update because i upload every day my sweetheart so let's go jump into your reading my darling amazing group number one welcome welcome to your magical reading so you choose this amazing beautiful card before i jump into your person first of all let me know what is your energy what type of person you are let's go get a card to find out what's your energy who you are okay who you are my group number one let's go find out the card to find out who you are a card to find out that who you are what type of person you are let's go find out my group number one who you are this card is the one that will describe you let's go find out what's there who you are you are the nine of fire protection preparedness and resilience so group number one you are someone you are a fighter if you want something you will get it also you are the master manifester and you are also someone always uh, from the childhood you have seen that people they are friendly to you and the next moment other people are becoming your competitors like people take you as their competitor but it's really not happened with your energy you are not going to take anybody as your competitor okay because you see everyone equally but people kind of take you as their competitor and you know it also you are someone you are loyal powerful and you know what you want and you can fight for yourself you are your hero or heroine you don't need anyone to protect yourself you can protect yourself in different places so you are not needy so if you are a female watching my video my darling you are not fragile you are not weak you can protect yourself even if you're a man watching my video you know how to come out of a situation that is not serving you anymore so you are a strong person whoever watching my video my group number one you are strong you're powerful and people need you you don't need anybody okay that's a vibe like you know this is your life when everything is good everything is fine nobody remember you nobody call you to know how you are or know your whereabouts they're not connecting with you but whenever other people are getting the hard time or having some bad time bad luck they're calling you for help so you are that kind of a person like people call you for help people call you for support people call you to get out of some situation because you are that kind of person like whenever people are um facing bad luck or negativity they call you because you are the helper you are the savior that's the vibe i'm picking up you are someone people look up to because no matter if they are your friends or not you will help them 
they, they, they have that kind of energy from you so you are the rescuer you are the powerful person who rescue many people and even animals uh, whenever they are in danger so you got that vibe you are a guardian angel for so many people my group number one you are exactly that kind of a person but people different call you or people manifest you in their life to get some help from you this is what i'm picking up but whenever you are really needing someone there is no one and god really helped you so that's a vibe like you help other people but god help you you could be a fire sign aries leo sag zodiac sunshine moonshine number nine is very important for you also my group number one, you are an influencer. You influence, you motivate other people. You are the advisor. Believe it or, believe it or not, my darling, you are someone like... You go, you you go someplace, and people are start copying you. People are start doing uh, things to be someone like you. You got that vibe. So now, if you are really resonating with this energy, let's go find out about your love story. What's there when it comes to your love story, my beautiful group number? One, what's there for you? Spirit guides, my guardian angel, archangel, oh my god, my heart. So, so exactly, I'm shuffling. Okay. Hmm. So, baby, what's your love story? What, 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 what is your love story? What is there? What is there? What is your love story? What is your love story, my beautiful group number one? What's your love story? What is your love story written in the? star what is your love story written in the star in the star okay your love story let's go find out your love story your love story let's go find out your love story okay so let's go let's go take a, take a look at it mm. first card you got the page of your truthful analytical outspoken then you got the wow five of earth lack worry assistance then you have two of art, balance, prioritization, and playfulness. Okay, so page of air means page of sword. Okay, art means here pentacle. You got the ten of cups or ten of water. You got the five of water with the five of art. Okay, and you have the page of art with the page of air. So let me pull one more card. You got the four of art with the two of art, and you got the king of air with the ten of cups wow so here what is your love story my darling so here what i'm picking up you're going to fall in love with someone that you have strong age gap so here what i'm picking up my darling if you are a female watching for a male partner especially the masculine in this relationship whoever the male figure is even if you are in a same-sex marriage or something like that then figure out who is the more masculine type they're gonna be extremely older than you can you see the king of air who is a strong masculine energy and who is older than you this person is older okay they're knowledgeable they're older they have seen lots of uh, people in their life they got maturity they are strong and older person so you guys will have huge age gap i'm picking up 10 years 12 years uh, for some few 20 years that i'm picking up but not less than 10 years okay nine years 10 years um the 12 years 16 years okay because you got the two page here two page card here that is you okay so group number one if you're the feminine one watching my video if you are someone watching for your husband or even if you're a male but you are more of a feminine side you're in tune with your feminine side then your partner is going to be divine masculine and this divine masculine is really older than you mature than you more powerful than you so here i can see cute edge gap it's beautiful edge gap not only edge gap but i also see height gap okay like age and height gap easier like whoever the masculine divine masculine is in the relationship will be taller than you or taller and older older means mature powerful and who is the divine feminine they're gonna be young fresh youthful and baby type so baby and daddy that's the love story here i'm picking up so sugar daddy sugar mommy and having the sugar baby that's what it is my group number one okay so my group number one let's go find out so you got the page of air with the page of earth now that really talks about a 
Okay, let's talk about your energy because I'm picking up like page of air, page of art is your energy and five of art, five of water is also your energy. So you will meet this person at the point of time. You see no one in your life. Out of the blue, this person is coming. You are hopeless. You are like really having worry in your mind that, oh my God, I don't see anybody in my life. Maybe I'll die alone. Maybe I'll die single. Then boom, this person is just entering and popping up in your life. The point of time, you see nobody in your life. Because the Five of Cups talks about what? Though you have achievements, but you are looking at your losses or those plans that didn't work out for you. And Five of Earth talks about what everybody leaving you behind there is no one as far as you can see there is nobody with the page of air page of art still you are someone you're looking for the perfect match because you are a very picky person and here on the other side your person is someone they believe in soulmate marriage love relationship but with the king of sword they have seen cruelty betrayal uh, heartbreaking moments they have experienced divorce or a huge breakup in their life they have seen that things can go from fairy tale to horror movie in their life okay <laughs> yes so they have seen balance they have they take a lot of money okay two of earth and four of earth this person is rich successful this person got lots of savings they got a big fat bank account with the four of earth and it's also called inheritance money so now you are very youthful baby type but you feel like that oh my god it's late okay i need someone in my life and it's late i cannot stay single for a long time so there like you will meet your person at the point of time you're almost like desperate to meet someone or you are feeling lonely or some of you are feeling hopeless that i don't know if cupid forgot about me or not or maybe santa claus forgot about me but boom this is your man this is your girl that you meet Mm, you will meet in the winter season that I'm picking up. And your love story is something that is based on trust. Okay, that is based on trust. That is really based on loyalty, commitment. Now, this person that you're going to marry, they believe in long-term relationship. They got a very strong Saturn position in their chart. Okay, Saturn position or a very strong 11,000, a very strong... 10th house, 10th and 11th house, very strong. This person is workaholic, they love to work, they're hardworking, they're uh, extremely committed, loving, a very good father figure, okay, I'm picking up father figure or mother figure, they're a very good parent and they will always take care of you, love you, nurture you. This is someone who knows how to nurture you and nourish you and you will always be the baby in their arms, my group number one, no matter how much your age is, no matter how mature other people think that you are but still you are gonna be the baby in front of your person and your person will always treat you like you are the baby you have to get nourishment from them that's the vibe i'm picking up also with this two five card i'm picking up you are someone baby you are sentimental you are sensitive and you get um that sensitive energy quite easily okay you get angry very easily you get irritated very easily you are short-tempered and you are someone sometimes you just don't know how to hide your emotion and you just um can't hide your cry okay you just can't hide your tears you just can't hide your true emotion that's who you are okay you show people what you truly feel so you really wear your heart on your sleeves and your person oh my god they can really have lots of secrets in their heart and that they, they will never tell anyone else that what's really going on in their mind in their heart in their soul so with the king of air extremely loyal person exceptionally they are a very loyal person who is entering in your life like it's like like they have the heart but it's already um frozen and you are the one you're going to melt your person's heart with your childlike behavior, with your innocence, you will melt your person's heart and your person will open the gate for you where you can see there is a big vault of money, abundance, jewelry, success, their savings only for you. You're going to be really sitting there. Your person dream of someone really sitting on their money and that is their partner. And your person is going to protect you. They're extremely protective. 
territorial they're like a parents and they really want to have babies with you i can see babies pets especially dogs i can see happily ever after this is exactly what your person dream about and they want balance in their life so group number one your person generally they're always drawn to younger and youthful people okay because your person is always finding the child like vibe to balance their life because your person is definitely someone they have seen lots of um that's a mature vibe in their life your person is like i'm sick of being mature okay i don't want to be uh, serious and mature with anybody else i really want my partner to be childish baby type ten of earth look at that prosperity security tradition your person is traditional and your love story it's really t looks like orthodox traditional loving they're extremely loyal baby okay your person is gonna be exceptionally extremely loyal okay mm. okay your love story how this connection will start with the queen of air so someone your person will choose you because you mirror them okay you are also someone you want a family and you are someone you are not going to fall for any bad boy or bad girl so this is this is exactly you my group number one you can sense if people are player or not if someone is reliable or not you can sense it you got that extra sixth sense because queen of sword is someone who is intuitive okay so you can feel it and your person can see that oh this is the one that i have been looking for so you guys are perfect match you could be Aquarius Libra Gemini watching my video. You got Sun, Moon, or Rising in that. Or maybe you could be Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But I'm picking up Air Sign is very strong. Air and Fire vibe is very strong. Okay? Wow. I'm also picking up in your love story, there is loyalty, commitment. And this is like, this is the couple, like one is very um, baby type, loving, innocent, pure, um always bubbly having fun happy you know talkative and other one is tall um you know handsome doesn't speak that much or always nourish or like nourishment or nurturing vibe is there like a daddy type mommy vibe that is exactly what you will receive yes the empress card in the middle of the spread wow i can see baby i can see creation abundance and action so my group number one you can expect someone is really entering in your life who is going to provide for you like believe it my group number one um i don't care if you need that kind of providing vibe from your person or not but your person your future spouse wants to provide for you because they carry the divine masculine energy so if you're watching for your husband, your husband is the one they will work hard and provide for you. If you're watching for your wife, your wife will try to work hard and provide for you. They want to provide things to you. They want to gift you. They just want to spoil you. They just want to give their partner uh, everything materialistic away. They just want to treat you well. That's it. What's that? That's what I'm picking up. Also with the Empress card, uh, it talks about nourishment, nurturing vibe again, like honey and milk softness wow so group number one someone picking up you are the one is really reawakening your person's romantic side okay also with the moon card your person is someone who is low-key jealous okay <laughs> they get um possessive over you and they get jealous very easily when somebody is really trying to um talk very nicely to you or i don't know like the moon card talks about secretly they're jealous but they are really trying very hard not to show you that oh i'm fine it's nothing but secretly they're like trying to get rid of that man or that girl from your life and also i can see dog is very much here so dog 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 your person will have dog or maybe you are the dog chinese zodiac dog or maybe your person could be a dog okay in chinese zodiac intuition illusion revelation okay your person is someone nobody can lie to them and you will feel very free that your person can sense that whatever is really going on in your life they can sense you they can feel you also you got the six of water this is your soulmate my darling with the memories and childhood this is your soulmate this is someone that you have already shared past life with and group number one you know what in this love story i'm picking up 
both of you will really have a very nostalgic romantic classical love story where you are really helping your person to enjoy that childlike vibe okay you will really i know why your person will choose choose you because you are extremely childlike baby type you are extremely um I'm picking up like bubbly energy and that's exactly what uh, makes your person choose you okay your person just loves you so much and they love that fact so men male your person is gonna be dominating in this love story my group number one whoever you're watching for it doesn't matter but you're going to marry your divine masculine so all of my divine feminine watching my video you could be a girl boy doesn't matter it's the energy with the divine feminine and with the men male this person is dominating and they love to give orders to other people and with you they're going to be extremely uh, protective okay also they will take care of all of the things that really happens in a family your person is like okay let me take care of it i can take care of all of it with the thoughts your person is the one they really manifested you in their life also after the first time meeting your person will think of you a lot and you are like living in their head that's the vibe i'm picking up you're living in their head and uh, they almost always think about you all the time they always think about you they can't get rid of your thoughts you just like yes they just think about you so much with the great fortune you got this card so card number 26 is here so how will you know that you have made this person because this person will bring luck to you great fortune to you and somehow my group number one you can sense this person is lucky for you and vice versa you're also gonna be extremely lucky for them okay after meeting you everything is really going so fine in their life now in the bottom of the deck you got the marriage card and that really signifies that this is your soulmate that you're going to marry and you can sense that this is your perfect divine masculine or divine feminine and you just perfectly match together so i can see again traditional marriage easier like whatever your tradition is i can see traditional marriage i can see in this last story there is family supporting you guys like your family their family everybody is supporting you guys so that you guys can have beautiful relationship and um in this marriage there is successful marriage okay I don't see any divorce. I don't see that someone is cheating on the other because it's can. So, okay. Spirit guides are really telling me to tell you one thing. So, in this marriage, if you really, um, okay. So, in this marriage, your person will never leave you. So, only one way this connection will not work. First, that maybe one of you will die or you will leave them. This is only the one way that this relationship will not work because otherwise your person will never leave you. They will never leave you, okay? This person is really have the Saturn energy in them. Oops. They're really the Saturn energy in them and they will never leave you. They, they, they really believe in strong foundation. They love you and they want to be with you. They can't live without you, okay? They will never leave their partner's hand. So you got the fifth house with the passion. Now also fifth house talks about creativity and fifth house talks about past life connection. And also fifth house, fifth house talks about your talent that you're carrying from the past life. So group number one, you're going to meet your person um, and this is your past life lover. There will be strong passion between them. There is there is romantic connection. Both of you are extremely romantic. There is romance in this relationship. Also... There is babies. You guys will have babies, children. Fifth house talks about what? Fifth house talks about passion and your talent that you're carrying from the past life. So somehow group number one, you will uh, find out more hidden talents about yourself after you are getting married with your person. You got the Taurus energy. Also fifth house talks about Leo. So you could be Leo. Your person could be Leo. Uh, Taurus talks about the second house. Also Taurus talks about cultivate and someone who is materialistic. And I love the vibe that fifth uh, month of the year, that is May. And May is really under the Taurus. So the Taurus, okay, maybe your person is someone that their zodiac is Taurus. Or maybe their zodiac sunshine, moonshine, something is Taurus or Leo. And Taurus, Leo, both of them are fixed signs. So your person will never leave you. Your person is extremely committed, loving, and they love marriage. They love that you know husband wife kind of relationship or husband husband wife wife relationship if this is like same-sex marriage so 
with the Taurus energy, they are luxurious and somehow they are very patient and they wait for the right time. And in this love story, I can see there is lots of passion and physical touch and creativity. Someone is very much extremely creative. Now you got this series that is nurture. Again, it's kind of resonant with the Empress card. And I just see this card, it talks about that. There is nurturing vibe as well as not only your person nurture you, but also your person kill all the negative thoughts and negative vibes in you. So they're the angel. They have that angelic vibe in them. Also with the sunflower, it talks about new beginning, new start, refreshment and purification. Your person will always try to purify you. Okay, this is someone who just loves you and don't want to lose you that's the vibe here i'm picking up okay this person does don't want to lose you doesn't want to lose you and do all the things to make you feel good in this love story i can see nourishment i can see food this person will always try to give you good food so later from the heaven about your love connection let's read the letter my darling okay what the letter is telling you all your prayers are heard and Oh my god all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms be grateful praise things before they manifest and always ask for the highest good when you plead and beg that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg instead offer your prayers as sacred gifts as a testament to your faith in a higher power open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you and meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with inspired epiphanies peace understanding and joy in this moment your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in surprising ways at this moment we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that your highest good is our priority all is well so my group number one when it comes to your love life you know your whatever you wanted your prayers already heard okay angels already listen to your prayers okay god knows what you want god knows whatever love you want what you want for yourself and god will give you the best out of the best that is perfect for you so let's go find out some of the message when it comes to your love life some of the message that is for you okay i'll pick one more okay let's go find out what the cards are telling you I'm working on myself because of you. I know that we are destined to be together. That's why I'm coming very soon, my love. Just wait for me a bit more. So this person is really telling you that they're working on themselves right now. So wait for them, okay? I see only you when I want to imagine my partner. Your face pop up in my eyes out of the blue. We have 5D connections. You guys have definitely 5D connection. I'm coming. Just wait for me. So this person is telling you that I'm coming. So just wait for me. So lots of people are single here. Okay. Or maybe if you're in a relationship, this is a long distance connection that you're already having with someone. Now this card wanted to come. That is a lover's card. So you know, my darling, you guys are so mad. Guys, a soulmate really mirror back the same energy to each other. Wow, that's all I got for you, my group number one. Your love story is very cute. That's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell icon for new update. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you so much. My darling, my amazing group number two. Welcome, welcome to your magical reading. Let's go find out what kind of love story is there already written for you. Let's go find out, my darling, your love story. My part number two. Three guides, my guardian angel, Archangel Michael Maharso. Channel message to me for my group number two. What kind of love story is there for you? Okay. So before I am jumping into your love story, let's go read your energy. So let's go find out to my group number two who you are so that you know that you choose the perfect pile for yourself, right? So let's go read your energy, who you are, my group number two. Okay. Who you are? <laughs> 
the four of fire so you are someone here i'm picking up you are someone a fire energy aries leo sag okay zodiac sunshine moonshine are you got a very like strong placement in the first house fifth house and the ninth house you got a very strong placement so with the four of fire it talks about you are playful funny you're a comedian you are you're, you're very jumpy <laughs> i'm thinking of very bubbly energy you got a very bubbly energy around yourself and you're very happy high positive uh, you're optimistic you're hopeful no matter what you don't lose hope or you are creative i'm picking up creative energy creator energy and you need attention you love attention you need, need need attention and when someone is not listening to you you stop talking to them and you have lots of self-respect okay you love yourself you respect yourself and you got a very um, healthy self-esteem okay like when like a situation or some people are not really giving you the respect that you deserve you just leave the situation or leave those people behind because you love yourself and you cannot stay anywhere where like there is no respect for you also for a fire talks about you are here in this earth going to marry a twin flame and okay for some of you i'm picking up you could be like a music artist you know how to play some specific music instrument you are good with your voice you can sing you can dance you can entertain you can paint okay you can paint you are artist you are an artist some sort of artist you are okay you can create things you are a creator you create something could be video song movie dance uh, maybe cooking or maybe building something or drawing something you have the creating ability maybe you're, you're good at gardening maybe you're good at making pots maybe you're good at making um something okay so you work with your hand and you create things okay you're also good at writing you could be a writer could be a songwriter poet or something or you could be in creative writings could be amazing novelist okay that's what i'm picking up that that is exactly who you are so if you resonate with this energy keep on listening this this is your reading okay let's go find out my darling your love story what is there in your love story let's go find out and also my darling maybe for you number four is very important on month of april or number four let's go find out my group number two let's go find out what is your love story what is your love story okay let me shuffle in front of you what is your love story here what is your love story so you got this one this one what is your love story my group number two whoever watching my video what is your love story what is your love story what is your love story okay what is your love story yeah that's it that's it baby that's it so let's go get the cards so you got the wow you got the empress amazing start you got the queen of water you got the page of water you got the five of water you got the patience card card number 14 talks about temperance you got the eight of art or eight of pentacle ace of art or ace of pentacle three of art or three of pentacles so wow wow I love the fact. <laughs> okay, I love the energy. So, group number two. This is what your energy looks like. This is what your person is. So, I can see clearly you are someone watching, like, you got lots of water energy into yourself. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or maybe you got your Jupiter or Sun in the water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, because I'm picking up, you are someone extremely intuitive, loving, nurturing. You got that motherly vibe in yourself. You're extremely nourishing. You are soft. You are healing type energy. You got lots of healing ability. And you are someone, my darling. You are you are a goddess. You already possess the god goddess energy into yourself. You could be a male. Doesn't matter. I'm talking about the energy. But you got lots of feminine energy into yourself because you're the empress. You're the empress and you are the queen of water. Queen of water talks of what? Healing, understanding, mature love. And you know that that who truly deserve you or what you deserve in this lifetime. 
and with your pet of water though you are extremely loving mothering and you got that amazing inner child bonding with yourself you are never afraid to show your inner childness pet of water my darling you really feel sorry for other people deeply like whenever someone is really going through some bad situation you can put yourself in their situation to feel their energy you are, you are an empath my group number 2 i wouldn't be shocked that if you are someone like psychic tarot reader or you know that you are a natural born healer and you are an empath you are an empath you are highly sensitive to the energy and you can feel what other people are talking about you you really have that extra sense and you are the empress you you're like working you have your money and if not right now you're working you will be working in the future i can see great career for you with empress card you can provide things for yourself or maybe you will inherit some money from your father mother or great grandparents or maybe grandparents and you are a rich person or you will become rich at the moment you meet them so who is your person your person is someone who is earth energy taurus or capricorn or sagittarius So they got strong Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Sagittarius energy, and this person is hardworking, very much practical. They have skills. They can speak in different language. Ace of Earth. They have their business. Okay, they have their business. They're not into nine to five job. Also, three of our talks about they do some group work or group business. So maybe they are the team leader with the Ace of Earth, and they really lead a group of people to work hard for them. So they are the captain. They are the company owner. Okay, they are the director of a company or the higher post in their company. Okay, but they really are the boss. They they really boss and people work under them. With the patience card, your person is someone. They're really you know um, investing their money in um, foreign trades or foreign business, like import export business, like. If you remember the uh, the the temperance card it talks about two different cups and temperance the angel who is mixing these two cups so your person is someone who really maybe they're really staying in a country and they're uh, getting money from different country or they're really trading um, in different countries in different state in different places they're helping other people to connect with different countries or different region Now when it comes to the love story here what I'm picking up that you are the empress and they are the temperance So you are the empress. You're really the someone. Like you are the throne. Okay, you're really having that high self-esteem. You're loving yourself. You're nurturing, loving, and your person is someone. They're extremely workaholic, and they put lots of effort in their work and in their money and everything. But your person is someone. They forgot to enjoy the real money uh, with themselves so, because. I pick up your person is very money money oriented money minded money oriented how to earn money how to get money 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 exactly what they want and you are someone you earn money but you know how to enjoy your money so you are really bringing lots of balance in your person's life so that they can earn money and enjoy their money too so in this love story so I'm picking up for many of you you guys will meet in a place that is like a trading place i'm picking up like a shopping mall a jewelry shop um a place where there is like trading is going on okay hotel restaurant or where there is like a good sell okay that place is expensive and lots of people are they are like giving money to get something yeah with the two of earth there will be some kind of money giving or taking or could be a business connection okay so have you watched the korean drama business proposal And you remember the meeting um, of the main leads? Okay, I'm just talking about the um, connection, like through business. Like there is some sort of businesses here that you guys are meeting. Though it was not for business, it was for marriage. <laughs> okay, so you have to watch the drama to understand the story. But this is what I'm picking up with the two of hearts. It could be an expensive place that you're meeting unexpected, unexpectedly. and you really didn't want to go there but you know people just pushed you to go there okay with the two of earth okay how you guys are meeting okay the justice wow there will be someone or a person who is libra or it could be your mother or their mother a strong female figure is really helping you to meet this person could be anyone okay 
could be teacher, preacher, professor, or someone who is in a high position, maybe your family member, their family member. It, it is a significant female person, a female, a powerful female. It could be Libra or could be Aquarius because you got the 11 card and 11 sign is Aquarius. So it could be Aquarius or it could be Libra helping you to meet this person. Hmm. A female, okay, it could be your mother, your sister, um, your bestie, or it could be their mother, their sister, their bestie. A female person will help you to meet them. And two of earth, like, your love story is kind of giving me the vibe like it, it is arranged. But somehow you are really not feeling interested to go there and meet them. Yes, king of air. Some of you are feeling dry that day. Some of you are feeling that, okay, um, I'm not sure that if I want to go there or not. With the king of air, you're really showing less interest to go there, to meet this person, okay? You're really showing less interest to go there and meet this person. Maybe you're just feeling um, like sleepy, like I want to sleep, I don't want to go there. Okay, eight of air, because you can't see what's there. You can't see that you're really rejecting the meeting to your person. Like you can't see that how powerful this person is that you're about to meet. And this is the destiny, my darling. Okay, this is the destiny that you will have the power because remember you are the empress. You are the empress and they are the temperance where they can adjust, they can settle down. But you are someone, no, you can't. You can't adjust with little things, okay? You have to uh, be the one that people um, value the most. And let me tell you one thing. Your person will have a huge crush on you, my group number two. Yes, three of air. You could act like a heartbreaker to them. Okay? Or maybe your, your this person will feel like, okay, so we are meeting group number two. But I hope that group number two likes me. But after the meeting, your person will feel like, oops. Maybe group number two didn't like me, okay? And some of your person feel like so great person like you, my group number two. Why would you like them, okay? Or I don't know, like you have that energy of empress and somehow your person feels so small, so tiny in front of you. When it comes to you, like I'm not talking about physical. I'm talking about your energy. Your energy is very big vibrant powerful strong dominating you your energy someone like that some of your person feel like dim and low okay it's like my darling you are like a sun and your person feels like they're the candle okay some of your person feels like okay i don't know maybe maybe you, you will uh leave them to the five of earth maybe you will um leave them behind and some of your person is really not feeling confident after the first meeting because like it looks like that you got lots of choices and you're more powerful than them or you got the power from the start in this relationship you, you got the power to cut up with them or to be with them yes 10 of earth but some of my darling my group number two i can see family involvement is here in this love story, I can see family in, in involvement. I can see like your family member, their family member will be extremely excited for this marriage, for this connection. They just want you guys to be together because they can see the potential uh, vibe in, in, in you and in this person. Okay? Like it's true with the Ten of Earth, it's true because both of you are stable, both of you are established, both of the families are perfectly matching. Is the perfect match. Some of your family members, their family members can feel that is the match made in heaven. So let's have it. But ten of air, you will try to deny that. You will try to say that. Are you sure we are really perfect? It's not like that you don't like the, this person, but somehow you feel like um, it's too, it's too soon. Okay, give me some time. Okay, let me just have some date with this person. So yeah. Group number two, someone picking up that your love story is something like out of the blue, you are meeting a person who is too good to be true and now you are becoming skeptical that if this person is uh, really, really they are true or they are trying to be uh, true and honest with me. So it's like group number two, it's like, you know, you have never met someone as good as them before. 
so you know the feeling when you are meeting the perfect man or the perfect uh, woman in your life and you are like skeptical that oh my god why this person is so good to me why this person is so sweet to me is this true or are they acting yes that's that's what happened when after unhealthy relationship or after toxic friend somehow somehow you just made the perfect uh, girl or perfect boy it seems like oh my god it's it's too good that's exactly what happened to you but look at that the judgment card this is your divine timing to meet this person this is exactly what you meant to have my darling in this relationship but here what you know angels are telling you my group number two you can't do anything right now because you have already put lots of effort and energy to your manifestation and there's nothing you can do right now just wait for the time because you are ready and they are ready to meet each other so if you're not in a relationship with them if you're still single they're entering into life very soon because you guys are ready to meet and if you're already in a connection you know what i mean okay you know what i mean where you just can't um take this person seriously because seriously this person have a feelings for me and they're not acting it is real though you can feel that they are real but still there is something doubt okay maybe from the past maybe you're carrying some sort of experience that it can't be so true like this this is the vibe i'm picking up like mental confliction okay so hmm but you know what my darling you will fall for this person you will believe this person because this person will make you believe in love make you believe in um their true nature that yes yeah, this is the perfect me this is the me i'm not lying to you i love you and at the point of time finally you are loving them finally you are falling in love with them now this person thinks that oh my god i can't believe i'm with you i can't believe that you accept me oh my god it's like my dream come true pile number two wow i'm picking up your person is really having a huge crush on you and they will they will do anything to be with you but what is wrong with you my group number two you can see that maybe it is like divinely guided it's like you're really having the power in this connection oh my god maybe like yeah like the way this person really shows love to you initially you will find out that in or initially you will think that this person is really trying to act cool or trying act trying to act very loving just to get to you yes look at that privileged lady it's kind of like empress card again look at that this person will treat you like an empress this person will treat you like exactly the way you are so you will never feel the change after marriage or after being together also with the despair card kind of like your person is oh my god they're the head over heels for you they are head over heels for you they can't see anybody but you if you reject them oh my god it's really breaking their heart like after meeting you other girl or other boy seems so uh, dull or so foolish in front of them okay with the courthouse i can definitely see your person is going to make that legal so there in this love story there's marriage if you don't believe in marriage baby there will be marriage this person really sees you as um hubby material or wifey material man male this person is gonna be someone who will take all the initiative who will Tell your family members that they like you, they want to be with you. And it's going to be a shocking news to you that, what? Somebody told you that they like me and I don't even know them. So this person will try to um, really, you know, initiate this connection and initiate this beautiful love story. And tell your family that they love you. Now, with the change card, Uranus, so this person could be coming from different cultural backgrounds. Or you guys will have the different um, cultures, different upbringing, Okay. That's here. Maybe this person is coming from different state, different country, different world. Um, also, Uranus talks about your life will change after you meet this person or after this person loves you uh, this much. You will change and you will also change for the better. Now, you got the Ascendant card with this entrance, my darling. Someone new is really entering in your life, okay? So, no matter how much you try to stop them, it can, okay? Because this person will manifest you strongly and somehow your family members and their family members can see that how responsible and serious they are with you 
but somehow they're so sweet you can't believe them okay i don't know my darling my group number two maybe you got some kind of past traumatic experience or maybe you just can't believe that you are lucky enough to meet someone like them or maybe you're really really thinking that oh they're very much so sweet to me because they want me in a different way and after that they will change their behavior but no they, they will not my darling okay yes you got the aquarius energy this person could be aquarius libra gemini they got strong saturn vibe in them and you know aquarius people are extremely like alien energy <laughs> so definitely they're coming from different country different vibe um or different state different culture and somehow in this connection this person will make you believe in love and love at first sight because this person is really falling for you like love at first sight they're loving you and loving you and loving you okay now you got this beautiful letter from the heaven that really talks about your love life right now what you need to know about your love life okay okay so dearest you my beautiful pile number two we need you we means here the angels okay we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right it's never too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story one in which you were a victim of someone else's action or your own you don't need to carry this around you can set yourself free even advocating for good because of because of this experience requires requires your forgiveness to be effective forgiveness is never about controlling things that were done it's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying the burden resentment and heart are like viruses <laughs> that spread to others and that is the opposite of what you really desire right Imagine what your life would be like without the burden that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. So my group number two, some sort of guilt or grudges that you are holding on to your heart. Maybe from your ex, maybe from your toxic friends or someone that you cannot forgive. Or you can't forget that how people treated you. And that's the main reason why you are not able to accept the love offer that your person is going to give you because it will scare you. Their love will scare you a bit because this kind of, okay, okay, my group number two, a quick note, I'm picking up. You are the one that you can see your younger self in your future spouse for the initial part of the relationship and exactly that scares you a bit more because you're like, oh my God, no, 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 I can't be in a connection with someone that I got the like heartful experience so maybe your person is someone they're really going to love you exactly the way you wanted to receive love but there was something off in your past connection and that really gives you anxiety but trust me my darling your life will be different your life will be different okay so let me pick one more card yes so let's go take a look what is there so travel lover love to see new place and enjoy little moments this is what your person is they love to travel they love to travel with you and they love to see new place with you okay i can't sleep at night i have many bad dreams your person is really having many bad dreams or nightmares okay yes sometimes i say some harsh words but believe me those words are not my real feelings i can't control my anger yes i'm short tempered please forgive me i love you so this person is short tempered baby okay you're going to marry someone who is a short temper but believe me they love you and they want to be with you so don't judge this person by looking at their shadow side okay that's all i got for you my group number two i love this fact that they love you exactly the way um you should have loved someone when you were younger like you can see your younger self in them that passion you can see that that's all i got for you my group number two i hope you enjoyed this reading give a thumbs up also my darling subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon for new update till and super and happy i love you so much my darling my amazing group number three welcome welcome to your magical reading so let's go find out that what is your love story baby okay what is your love story what's there for you what's coming for you 
But before jumping into a love story, let's go find out group number three who you are, what's your energy, just one card to read you so that so that you know this reading is perfectly for you. Okay? Group number three, who you are. So you are the three of ones. I'm picking up first of all, first of all, you are really trying to have long hair or you're working on your hair. <laughs> That's what I'm picking up. You're working on your hair care routine. You love your hair. You want to have longer hair or something about a hair. Okay, maybe you want to cut your hair or have a long hair. With the three of wands, I'm picking up fire energy. Or is Leo sad? You could be fire sign or you could be Gemini watching my video. Now here I'm also sensing that you are someone you have big dreams, like impossible dreams. You believe in fairy tale magic, you believe in law of attraction, you believe in miracles, you believe that you can't get whatever you want. You got that amazing belief system in your heart that you can get whatever you want. The faith. You have great faith. You can get whatever you want. With the three of ones, baby, you will turn anything into gold so you are a strongly passionate person and if you really want something in your life you will manifest things in your life fast okay i'm also picking up you are someone you hate people who don't reply you fast okay everybody hate that okay so you hate people when they give you late reply or they are not really giving you uh, the attention and you always come out from this connection and from those people who is not giving you priority or who is not really listening to you so you have a very good self-esteem you're also someone you are not limited and you are not limiting your belief you're not limiting your dreams though you are sitting there in your room but you are really imagining a different world in your mind you're an amazing shapeshifter you can do astral projection you are a dreamer you are amazing fictional writer like you can write things that other people cannot even imagine okay i'm picking up that you are someone you got amazing fantasy world in your mind you live in your head like there is a fantasy world in your head and you can't change your character your aura into the main character or whatever your mind is giving you so you're an amazing dreamer and dream is the only way that angel connects to you so remember your dreams and most of your dreams are deja vu's or preview from the future you have the 5d connection with your future spouse if you are in a relationship most of the cases parameter i'm picking up there is a new person who is entering in your life that you don't even know and right now whoever you are in a relationship with you like wh whoever you have the connection with right now if they're not helping you to achieve your dreams or your highest good you're going to leave them okay you're going to leave them in the future if they're really not helping you to get uh, whatever you want in the future this is what you are this is who you are and you're extremely romantic flirtatious you know how to flirt okay it is a talent you have my darling I'm picking up pile number three. You are having the siren quality. Like, you are naturally seductive. Okay, look, my darling. Seducing other people, it's an art. And it is not connected with the beauty or the beauty standard. Okay? So, if you feel like that you're, okay, I'm not that beautiful. Okay, I'm not having a zero figure. I'm not having an hourglass body. So, I can't be uh, the seductive baby. Seduction is an art. It's a quality. It's an intelligence. And you got it. So, you seduce people with your voice, with your art, with your creativity. Oh, my God. You got that aura. You got that charm. So, this is who you are. And also, you are a dreamer. I'm picking up you are a dreamer. You have your own fantasy world. This is who you are. Hmm. Okay, the Rapunzel story is very much connected to you. So tangle it. It's your dream. It's your it's your uh, Disney drama, Disney movie. Okay, so if you have been uh, trying to find out some love story that you could have, so go and watch the Rapunzel. The tangle it. Okay, so let's go find out to my group number three. What's there when it comes to your love story? What's there when it comes to your love story? What's there when it comes to your love story? What's there when it comes to your love story? What's there when it comes to your love story? What's there when it comes to your love story? 
what's there when it comes to your love story what's there okay don't worry my darling i will pull more cards okay so you got the wow did i not knight of cups you got the knight of cups you got the three of cups you got the king of pentacle with the wheel of fortune you got the ace of sword okay high priestess beautiful you got the hanged man and you got the star wow three major arcana here and here only one major arcana for you so pile number three what's your last story first of all you can clearly see the left side is your energy the right side is your person's energy okay i hope you can see all the thing hmm. so yeah what i'm picking up my darling you are someone you're you could be uh, water or the art sign or maybe you got the water plus man in your chart very strong or you could be sagittarius so the signs i'm picking up is pisces cancer scorpio taurus Virgo, capricorn and sagittarius okay and your person is really having strong air placement in your chart so aquarius libra aquarius libra gemini with the pisces okay so they could they, they could have the like in top three position zodiac sunshine moonshine sun moon are rising or the um, zodiac this is pisces or the aquarius libra gemini hmm. now here what i'm picking up what is your energy and how you guys will meet or this love connection so when it comes to this love connection you are flirtatious you're extremely flirtatious okay and you know like you wear your heart on your sleeves with the three of cups it talks about like you're having a good time with your family with your friends the moment you meet them with the wheel of fortune you will be in a big place at your career or study the moment you meet them because with the king of pentacles you're earning money you are getting money you are getting rich there is richness money expensive things going on with you like you're really uh, spending money so group number three if you're not working then you will get your job or there will be something that you are earning money okay and if you think that oh i will never earn money by myself then okay your mom dad or someone will give you money and you are you're having money that's the king of pentacle talks about like accumulated wealth or inheritance money is here and also king of pentacle talks about that if you're doing something in your business in your career or maybe you're not a nine-to-five job you will have promotion or there will be like high time achievement in your career like you got money you got beautiful looks you got a beautiful family who support you loves you and you got the wheel of fortune that talks about that you're feeling lucky you're feeling that you can get whatever you want and you are a lucky person my group number three i don't care whatever right now you're going through but I'm picking up that you are lucky. And at the moment you meet your person, you will be a lucky person. Or like luck is in your favor. Whatever you're trying, you are getting success. Whatever you're touching, that is the gold. And when it comes to your person's life, they are someone... Okay, I'm picking up they're extremely spiritual. I'm picking up my group number three. Your person is going to be spiritual. You, you can also be spiritual. Uh, but I'm picking up you are spiritual, but you are also materialistic and you've got amazing balance with that money and spirituality Okay, like you earn money you enjoy money at the same point of time. You're devoted to God Okay, the richness and spirituality work side by side, but with your person they're extremely spiritual They're spiritual they believe in higher self divine power god with the high priestess card they got lots of emotion that they can't express to anyone with the star card they're hoping for you they're manifesting you my group number three i'm picking up the more you manifest them they manifest you even more like your person's power their pull is stronger than you with the ace of sword they're meritorious intelligent strong they, they got a high grade okay they're really coming from a very good like university okay they got a high degree and they are knowledgeable wise person with the hangman card this person knows how to wait this person can wait for the divine timing they're not impatient also with the high priestess card they're a wise person and they can control their emotion 
long 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 time and they will never tell anybody anything what they feel like now here in this love story one thing i can see that you are someone you're really going to help your person to understand that how to balance the money and spirituality at the same time maybe your person is someone they are really earning lots of money but they're also becoming spiritual but somehow they're forgetting to balance their life now you're really really bringing balance in their life and in this love story you know what your person will be extremely talkative to you they will tell you so many things extremely talkative person now why they're talkative because they can't tell or they can't express their true feelings to other people because some of your person is highly intelligent and some of them find other people very foolish okay or blunt or the or their knowledge is something that other people cannot understand and so it's it's just a waste of time if they try to explain things to other people that's why this person will you get the perfect high iq level with you and they will share so many ideas so many things to you now with the four of pentacle that you have so in this love story there is family that you guys will bring i can see family i can see babies i can see that the person is someone they're extremely homebody they love to stay with you at home their home person homebody they love their home they will try to work from home as well okay now also with this dark card this person is someone you know it's like they are the mature for so many people this person really engaged their um uh, money or their time to the uh, into the um unprofitable organization like helping the or he- helping the animal human being nature art or in war zone people your person is really into the altruistic um work also your person is someone they're highly dedicated and devoted to you So even if you're really getting angry and um telling them something uh wrong uh, they will never argue with you this person is extremely adjustable and they can they can really get hurt easily but they will never tell you that they're hurt so this person really uh suppresses their emotion a lot they, they just don't know how to explain their emotion so physical touch is going to be their love language okay when you kiss them when you hug them like their body is really talking to you Now I'm also picking up in your love story there is some sort of healing is happening. I don't know why with the hangman card your person is someone they have seen some sort of um loss in their life. Could be like memory loss or um some of their parents uh, really leave them in the childhood. Or maybe lost uh, loss of people, loss of uh, money or loss of recognition in their childhood or maybe a loss of friends. So that's really needs to heal and in in this connection it will help your person to heal from that loss because with the hangman card they're really waiting for the right person to give them something that they have already lost okay now with the eight of cups your person is really someone in this love story they can't move on from negative energy they can't move on from um emotional dramatic toxic past and you are the one you're really helping your person to move on because your person is someone they need to move on and you're going to be helping them to move on. okay so there is some sort of love is there that that you will give them okay wow that's beautiful i'm picking up your person is really want to be a family person but there is something that they can't yeah the eight of sword you're really helping them that you you're really helping them to know that look at that the cage is open you can run you can you can have your own life you can you can have whatever you want nobody is stopping you you can't fly so your your person is the earth angel but they cannot see that they are extremely sensitive okay this person is sensitive that's that's what i'm picking up yes 12 of cups it's your soulmate it's your soulmate my darling that you're going to marry you guys have the two body but one soul you guys are soulmate and group number 3 whatever you have experienced in your life your person has experienced the same thing in your life as well with the world card both of your world could be different but you guys are really coming from the same soul dust same yes three of soul your person really got hurt they got a very toxic past maybe with their parents with their friends with ex or with uh, the ex partner but you are there going to heal them 
and you are you are not going to know that you're healing them and that's the cutest story ever like you are healing your person but you don't have any idea that you are healing them now how you guys will meet because in this love story i'm picking up you are really helping your person to have new memories so how you guys will meet now you got the full card you guys meet through journey travel or when you're like exploring the new place it's gonna be expensive place um with the page of pentacle could be near nature water body or garden i'm picking up open sky open place it's not a it's not a hotel or any other place that is like in, in into the wall there is no wall i can see open place nature flower it could be garden park um beach area mountain area open in the ground open out in the nature you will meet them also with the full card it's like that place is gonna be new to you you haven't been there the first time you are going there and boom you're meeting them also with the king of pentacles very expensive place or that place is rich place okay you got the privileged lady so yes you are the one who is really leading the best life my group number three the moment you meet them you'll be exactly in your best version okay now you got the journey and that's funny <laughs> okay okay so that really journey to love <laughs> that's here that's your baby journey to love and gift maybe you meet this person around the time when people are giving gift to their lover so maybe it could be festival could be your birthday their birthday or some sort of festival is there or maybe giving and taking gift is the way that you guys will meet okay also you got the path away so if you're really asking about any timeline this is like within two years this is going to happen also with the pathway talks about look at woods forest okay um in the dawn time like uh, early morning early in the morning you'll meet this person very early in the morning sudden wealth my darling oh my god it's a big sign that you are about to meet this person because you will receive sudden wealth or your family will receive sudden wealth or suddenly you are really having the wealthy lifestyle and this person is also going to be rich successful this is this is also a rich person who is entering in your life now you got the strength and uh, dignified now this is someone who really uh, like your love story is something like a power couple your status will be higher after getting married okay like getting higher status you got the gemini you could be Gemini, this person could be Gemini, or in the Gemini season, you could meet this person. It also talks about uh, twin flame. Gemini talks about twin flame and honeybees. And communication will be a great part in your relationship. Both of you love to communicate, love to say so many things. You got the Libra. You could be Libra, your person could be Libra. Or maybe in the Libra season, you guys could meet. But also, Libra talks about what? Balance. This person will, will, will be different from you. Both of you are different and this is how you guys are connected to each other. Okay, now you got the tension. So here I'm picking up both of you are different. Both of you are different now when like fire and water are coming together. It's like steamy hot. So the first interaction with this person could be a bit bumpy. Like both of you will um, disagree on something and this is how you guys will meet. <laughs> okay, like head to love story. Not typically head but... It's gonna be a very spicy start. Mm. So you have the 11th house community. This person is really coming from your soul tribe. That's what I'm picking up. This person is really coming from your soul tribe. And also, this person is someone. They're going to show you at how true connection feels like. There's like true relationship here, okay? Also, 11th house talks about what? 11th house talks about the community or your in-laws so your in-laws will love you they will love you okay let's go find out the message for you when it comes to right now what you need to know when it uh, comes to your love life okay there is you over here there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are how the wave of creation works and how spirit 
is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible but it's impossible for human to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in that said can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that brings even together in miraculous ways you can understand with your mind but you can know with your heart and soul trust that even though you don't know how or the what or the why we do surrender to the mystery and have faith that unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysterious and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor loving you so much as always so group number three let me tell you one thing there's also mystery unseen events happening and you are not meant to know that what is coming towards you in the next because this is what angels are telling you that it's a magic it's a mystery it's a dream that you're about to have real in your life and how things will happen for you it is a magic it is it is a magic it is something mysterious so you don't have to think too much that how things will happen for you but believe in the magic believe that everything is really happening unseen world is really there for you so what is there for you baby um cook for you this person will cook for you great cook take romantic shower with you oh baby this person will cook for you this person will take romantic shower with you I see only you when I want to imagine my partner, your face pop up in my eyes out of the blue. We have 5D connection. This, you and your person is really having 5D connection. And you have, um, I know you have a secret crush on me. I have a crush on you too. Give me some time. I'm coming towards you. So this is someone who is having a secret crush on you. Or maybe you're having a secret crush on them. And your person already knows that I like you. And I know you like me too. So just give me some time. I'm coming towards you. That's all I got for you, my beautiful group number three. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Give it a thumbs up. Also, my darling, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for new update. Till then, stay blessed and happy. I love you so much. Mwah.